Hi everyone, Steve Harris here with OutCode. I'm excited today to show you a brand new integration that we've built into the service called MemberSpace. MemberSpace allows you to turn any website into a fully functional membership system. Taking a quick look at our demo here, we have our online education template. And if I click on the courses page, it briefly loads to show us a little bit of a preview and then it kicks us over to a login area. And if we can't log in, we can sign up for one of these courses or membership levels rather. So that's the core functionality of this widget. It allows you to specify pages on your site that are protected and only accessible to members who are signed in. In addition to membership pages, you can also use the widget to create dedicated member pages, login pages, and account pages. And one of the best parts is that all membership functions, including payment processing, is done without ever leaving your site. So in this video, we'll set up a basic membership site in without code. We'll create an account here at memberspace.com and I'll show you how our widget actually extends the functionality of this system. This is just the first video in our membership tutorial series. So be sure to check out the other tutorials to learn more about setting up a full membership site. Before we dive right into the member space setup, I want to just kind of dissect this template here and show you some of the core functionality. So this is our online education template that we've modified into a member site. And of course, what I want to do here, which I showed you in the demo is restrict the courses and webinars pages to members only. Now, if we scroll down to the footer area here, you can see there's a member space widget here. And the reason that this is dropped in the footer is because we need this code to kind of inject itself throughout every page on the site. So if we put it in the footer, and of course the footer shows up on every page, then it's going to be throughout the entire website by just putting the widget in one place. Now let's open up the widget panel. So having a look at our widget panel here, you'll see that the first option we have is widget mode. Right now this is set to member space core. In the drop down, we have other options such as login account pop up button and login account embed. So this part or rather this setting here, member space core is kind of the core functionality that we'll need throughout all the pages on the site. However, these other settings allow this widget to actually act as a login button or actually act as an embed for your login information. So it's a single widget that can do several different things. The next option we have is for the subdomain. And when I set up my member space account, you'll see that we are required to enter in a subdomain. So we'll just need to make sure what we enter here matches when we do our member space setup. Before we jump over to member space, I'll just cover the last few settings in this widget. So we have blackout pages and we have a little question box here that explains what this is, but essentially blackout pages will allow you to apply a full screen color overlay to the page to block the brief page preview that you're seeing. So on the demo here, you can see that we actually see the preview page for a few seconds before it fires us over to the pricing page. If we were to turn on blackout pages, we wouldn't see that page at all. And we can define a color overlay that will block that page. It will also add extra security protection, which will stop search engines like Google from indexing the page contents. The next setting we have here is hide protected pages for non-members. Basically what this means is that they will not show up or rather protected pages will not show up in the site's navigation. So if we turn that on, our courses and webinar pages will not be visible within the nav. One thing to note here is that if we do have other links to those pages, such as links in the footer, those will still be visible. And lastly, we have the specific pages that we'd like to protect. So if I click on the first one, it says, which page would we like to use? And I am indeed protecting the courses page. And the second one here is the webinars page. An area to note here is that it's especially important to specify protected pages if you're using the blackout pages option. The reason for that is because if no pages are added here under protected pages, every page on the site will actually have a brief blackout period applied. So just make sure anytime you're using blackout pages, you indeed specify which pages below you are protecting. So that's it for widget setup options. Let's jump over to memberspace.com and create a new account and get this going from scratch. I'm actually going to delete out this widget so I can set up my site from a fresh brand new approach using a new memberspace account. So let's jump over there and sign up. 
Now, rather than just typing memberspace.com into the browser bar, I'm going to use this link here, which is our without code affiliate link. This just allows us to track how many users are signing up on the Memberspace website and allows us to earn a little bit of revenue if we're bringing plenty of users over to the service. So here we are on the Memberspace site. And if I go to the pricing tab, You'll see that their basic option is $25 a month. It includes unlimited members, paid or free, some support options, standard features, and a 4% transaction fee. Now, as someone who's run a membership site for a long time, I can tell you this is a great deal. We've integrated a variety of services over the years in our sites, and typically they are very expensive for the kind of functionality that Memberspace is giving you. Now, if you have a slightly bigger business and want to pay maybe reduced transaction fees, you can click on the other plan options and you'll see that there, there's a variety of plans that have different fees and different features included. So if you're a little bit of a bigger business where you have a large volume of members, you might want to go with the unlimited account, which is $200 a month, but you'll pay a 0.5% transaction fee for that. So let's go ahead and create a 14 day free trial on the $25 a month just starting plan. Okay, so I've signed up and I've added my credit card for my 14 day free trial. And when we're done, let's click access content. Okay, so we're brought to a guided setup page. Let's click ready to start. Okay, so this is where we'll need to enter some information that has to match what we put in on the WO code side. So first of all, let's enter the full URL of our site. And you can change this later on. But for now, I know that my site is memberdemo.club. Which platform is your website on? You have to go custom HTML. Choose your site name. Let's go WOCode test site. And lastly, choose your account URL. We have member demo. I'm going to do memberdemo.memberspace.com. Keep in mind, this is visible to members in things like signup links. So again, it may want to be branded. And let's just click all done. Okay, so once we've added our site information, it asks us to protect member pages. So let's go ahead and click protect member pages. And it says enter the URL of your pages. So the way that we enter the URL is we put a forward slash and then the name of the page or whatever you want the URL to be. So I know that my pages are going to be slash webinars just like that. And then it says, when should this page be available to members immediately after a certain number of days or a specific time? Let's just go immediately. Okay, so we have webinars added and I'm going to add one more here. It's our courses page and same thing add now. Okay, our two pages are added. You'll see there's a couple of options here to black out pages and things like that. We're going to do that on the WO code side. So let's just skip that for now and go next setup step. Okay, it says, let's create a member plan. So let's click create member plan. Okay, so it brings us to an option saying what type of member plan is this? In the drop down, we have free, no payment required, a one time payment that could be, for example, lifetime membership, multiple payments, so that's split up over an amount of time or recurring payments. So say a payment every month. If we click recurring payment, we then have to connect our Stripe account. Now, Stripe is a great payment provider. It's what we've always used for our businesses, and we can highly recommend it. But for now, for this demo, I'm just going to go free, no payment, and continue on with the steps. So for the plan name, I'm just going to call this courses. Basically, it's the courses plan, but we could call this something like pro or special, anything you want. We have some additional description options that we can add. I'll skip those for now. An expiration period will leave none which pages can be accessed, I'm going to turn on courses if you have the courses membership. These do not have to match, but basically it's an area where you can tier a membership to a specific page. Next, we have some redirect options. So after sign up, where do you want to send members? And after login, where do we want to send members? So for this membership, after they sign up, I'm going to send them to the courses page, just like that. So when they sign up for the courses membership, they're going to go right to the courses page. And let's do the same thing here. Okay, so members will automatically visit our protected page once they have the permission to do so. Next, we have enable plan that's on and make plan public so they can upgrade or downgrade within their account. That's great. So let's click create this plan. Okay, I've got my courses membership setup, I'm going to create a new plan very quickly for my webinars plan. 
Okay, both our plans are set up. Let's go to the next setup step. Then we have just some additional customization options within MemberSpace directly where we can change member experience, the look and feel, emails. It's a very powerful system. So we won't go through every single option in here, but I encourage you to explore around inside this area. We'll click next setup. And lastly, it just tells us add the required code. We don't need to worry about this at all because our widget is going to take care of everything. So that's all the setup we need to do for now in the member space system. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my website and I'm going to add the widget. So let's go to our widget panel. Let's search for member space. There it is. Don't mix it up with membership works. That's a different system. So member space, let's drag the widget down into our footer. And let's just quickly repeat these setup steps and make sure it matches what we entered on the member space side. So the widget mode here is going to be the core. Then we have our subdomain, which is member demo, just like that. And then the pages we'd like to protect. So I'm going to click add page and let's select our courses page. And for the second one, I'm going to do our webinars page. Now keep in mind, I had already set up these pages. So if, you've going, if you're going to create a new page on your site, just make sure that the URL does indeed match what you've added in the member space system. So there you go, I should be good. And let's close the panel. Let's republish the site. And I'm going to visit my URL. And let's give it a test. Click on courses. And there you go, you can see it is protected. So setup is very, very simple with this widget. You can be up and running really quickly. And off camera here, I have created a demo user for our site. So let's go ahead and give it a quick login. Okay, so as you can see, I log in as a member and now I can access all of the protected content. So that's it. That's a quick setup of how this widget works, what the widget modes are in terms of core, dropping it in the footer of your site and setting up those protected pages. Speaking of the two other widget modes, we will cover each of them in upcoming videos, as well as some of the other useful site features like managing members and creating a great member landing page. So be sure to check those out. Thanks for watching.